The state of Ohio is starting to get back to normal as the vaccine rollout progresses. Today, a Miami Valley Cultural Museum reopened to the public. Two News reporter Leah Williamson shows what they featured to draw visitors back. Visitors were welcomed back to the National Afro-American Museum and Culture Center here in Wilberforce for the first time since September, and they were treated to a brand new exhibit which spans more than 200 years. The new exhibit, Rhythm of Revolution, is a collaboration with Wright State graduate students. It's very enlightening, very, very pleasing to the soul to get that information out on a history that's so part of American history, but so often overlooked. Ten students carefully selected and arranged important artifacts to the African American history and culture. A lot of these items that we have are, are incredibly rare. Um, some of them were found in, you know, a secret room in someone's house just a few weeks ago. Many of the pieces showing how Ohio has been linked to important moments in the nation's history. Correspondences with bus companies to get people from Columbus, Ohio, all the way to Washington just to be part of the march. Starting from 1619 and wrapping around the room to the present, the curators want visitors to see that from the moment African people were brought to America, their art and influence has shaped history. Art has really helped us not only interpret our current challenges, but also kind of paint a way forward, a better way forward into the future. Now that the museum is open long term, curators and museum officials are hoping people will come learn and interact with history in person again. We tried to bring this history in other new innovative ways during COVID, but it feels really good to be opening our doors, to introduce you know people to this important history, to see faces engaging with this. For the month of May, the museum is open Friday and Saturday from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Masks and social distancing are still required. Hours will extend in June. Aaliyah Williamson, 2 News, working for you.